fellow scholars, Ms. James here. I'm going to be helping you with your first grade skills lesson. Today we're working on skills unit four, lesson three. Our objectives for today are to isolate the sound spellings for vowels. Read one syllable words with er, ow, oi, u, and ah. Form the contractions here. It, he's, and she, and identify which letters the apostrophe replaced. Ask and answer questions about an informational text and recall detail. Let's get started with those reviewing vowel spelling. Repeat after me. A as in hat. Eh, as in hat. Uh, as in but. Ah, uh, as in ha. Ooh, as in look. E, as in B. Ah, as in pa. A, as in cake. I, as in bite. U, as in cute. O as in home, and er as in her. Good job. These are all of the vowel spellings that we've learned and practiced so far. Keep practicing them, and remember, when you see these, you have to think a little bit differently and remember the rules that they have. Let's go to our activity page in your workbook 3.1, where we'll practice some vowel digraph spelling. Here's what the page looks like. Make sure to write your name and today's date on the top. We're going to find the words that fit in the blank to complete the sentence. Let's read the words in the top box first. Her. Clerk. Round. Coin. Verb. Pause. Scoops. Food. Let's read the phrases and see which word fits best. Number one, the plate is. Hmm, which word would fit with that sentence? The plate is. The first word that pops into my head that fits that sentence is the plate is round. Find the word round. Let's circle the different sound spelling in round. Circle the O U in round. And then write it in the blank after the plate is. Let's do number two together. The blank gave her a dime. Hmm. The blank gave her a dime. Now that's a little tricky. The word that fits into this blank is clerk. 
A clerk is someone who works at a store. So a clerk might give you back some change, like a dime. Find the word clerk and circle the different sound spelling that we've learned about. Circle the ER in clerk and then write it in the blank. Number three. Dogs have. Hmm. Which word comes to your mind for dogs have? Pause. Find the word pause and circle the sound spelling in pause. A W. Then write it on the line for number three. Finish number four and the next page on your own. Use the words in the box. You'll only need to use each one once. Let's look at contractions again. We've learned that there are two different ways an apostrophe can be used. To show possession, that somebody, something belongs to somebody, or to replace a letter and make something shorter. Here are some more examples that we haven't seen yet. We ran across let us, let, in the first chapter of Meet Fern. Here's another example we haven't seen yet. Here is, here. Which letter did we replace with an apostrophe in here is? I don't see the I anymore. We replace the I with an apostrophe to make here's. Say the word here's. Now say here is. They mean the same thing, even though they look a little different. The next example is it is or it. Which letter did we replace with the apostrophe in the word it? I don't see the I from is. We replaced the I from is with an apostrophe. Say the word it. Now say the word it is. Here's another example. He is. Keys. Which letter did we replace with an apostrophe? It's the I again, that's right. It looks like when we have the word is, we replace the I with an apostrophe. Repeat after me, he. Now say he is. And our last example, she is. She's. Again, we replace that I with an apostrophe. Say the word she's. Now say she is. Remember, the contraction means the same thing as the other two words together. It's just a shorter way to write it. Together, we read the first chapter in the Green Fern Zoo. This chapter is called Meet Fern. Today, I want you to practice reading it on your own. I'm going to show the page for you, and you can pause the video and take your time to read it. Then, when you're finished, go to 3.2 in your workbook and complete the chapter question. Make sure to use full sentences with capital letters and periods to answer your question. Here you can see on 3.2.
it says on the bottom page. They want you to write which page number you found your answer. Today that's going to be pretty easy because Meet Vern was only one page long. But make sure you write the page number where you found your answer on that little line. There's one for each question. This tells me you know how to go back in the story and find the answers. Now I'm going to show you the story again, Meet Vern. And you can pause the video so you can take your time and read. And then when you're all finished, work on your chapter question. Here's the story, Meet Vern. Pause here and read it, take your time, then go back to the questions when you're finished. This is the last thing that we've got to do for today. Great work today, and I will see you again tomorrow.